Welcome back, everyone. If this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. That, uh, why are we draining the uh, is it just because it's old um, no we chose to park in a really interesting place at one point in Kukumita Bay questionable maybe yeah questionable and we questioned it at the time probably knew we shouldn't have parked there and have suspicions that somebody may have destroyed uh, a carburetor maybe done something to it so we're not sure we don't know for sure but what do we find on the uh, outside of the motor? A lot of really nasty, funky stuff. I don't know, <laughs> but it was really gross. <laughs> Not sure why she's trying to avoid it, but it um, appears that somebody peed in our gas tank. <laughs> there was urine on the outside of our gas, our, our motor. And I thought, well, maybe just the local fisherman had just uh, Gave me a warning about, hey, don't park here. Okay, all right, we can handle that. But uh, then I just took away, took apart the carburetor and uh, found crystallized uric acid inside um, the float bowl. And uh, so I had to, didn't, didn't ruin anything. I was able to get everything flushed and all the jets and everything. I've hopefully, been able to be just fine. So I'm gonna take the, uh, spark plug out now and replace that get a new one in there and hopefully it won't be a problem but uh, pretty sure that they peed into my gas tank so lesson learned don't park where the fishermen park their boats <laughs> that's what we learned in greece yes eh, lessons learned yes <laughs> yes <laughs> So we have a few more things that we're taking care of before we set sail. Uh, one of them is just doing some maintenance on the windlass that pulls our anchor up and down. We want to make sure that that's totally in place and very good before we are in Greece because we use the anchor a lot there. So uh, Cass is working on the maintenance now. And uh, as you've just seen, we also worked on the outboard. So just taking a few things off before we go, which is hopefully tomorrow. We've been waiting for the right window. With the weather, it's been a little, uh, uh, <laughs> the weather has been a little unpredictable at best. So hopefully tomorrow, we'll see. So, we're preparing to go. Yay. Um, we're definitely going today. We're going to go check out. We're going to uh, sail over to Tivat. We'll uh, go up to the key there and anchor, not anchor, but hook up to the key and then walk over and do the checkout process. But before we do that, before we leave, we have a few things that we have to get taken care of. Uh, top up the water, take care of the garbage. Uh, I'll run a vacuum really quick preparing snacks so I'm going to cut some carrots uh what else do we need to do lots of stuff oh we have to release the lines on uh the sails so that we'll be able to sail because we've had them all tightly wound up for all the wind that we've had so we're getting ready we're very excited but it's going to be a cold sail <laughs> we're going to be very bundled because the plan at this point uh weather permitting is that we will sell uh, directly down to Corfu. So that will be roughly estimated. We're projecting about a 30 hours of uh, sail time, potentially, roughly, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So hope you enjoy. We're off, yay. <laughs> Moving over to Tavat. So first uh, step down.
made it into Tabat. And uh, just as I said, we are just connected to the key. It's a little flashy because we have the wind blowing on us, but uh, we're here for now. So he is going in to check us out of Montenegro. We will stay for a few more hours. We're planning on having a really late night departure around 2 a.m. So uh, we'll leave at night so that when we get to Greece, hopefully, it will be early in the morning and a good time to check in, given the time that we have projected and all of that. So this is uh, the port, Porto Montenegro in Tivat. Check this out. We'll be checking out now. Uh, the we'll get our passport stamped. We'll get the boat out of customs so that we can fully leave leave uh, Montero. So, what Cass already got stamped was the vignette that allows us to sail through Montenegro, and there is an arrival time that's stamped on there and a departure date. So, they updated the departure date and gave us that stamp. And now he is waiting in line. Let's see if I can. over at the customs dock so that uh, he can get those stamped and check us out of country fully. Then we will go anchor. Uh, we tuck in behind an island to give us a little bit more wind protection for the night, which would again just be a short night because we are leaving about two in the morning so that we have a good uh, weather window and timing for when our arrival will be into Greece. So that's where we are. All checked out, yay! Woohoo! So now we are going to anchor for the night, and uh, when we leave, it's gonna be super dark. So, just gonna give one last vista of Montenegro and say goodbye, Montenegro, early. <laughs> yes, so here you are. We've anchored here before, so we're quite familiar with it. Uh, it has good holding. It's just on the lee side of the island, so we have good protection from the wind. So, it'll be a short night, but a very nice one to set us off right for the next big sail. Right now. So it's making for a little choppy. 
happy ride. <laughs> kind of like a fun slow roller coaster. <laughs> to give them a little bit more room so kind of crazy when we don't see very many vessels out here and then you come across one big huge massive ship so <laughs> pretty cool Yeah. Great passage. Yeah. 
and the moon last night. Well, that was ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Yeah, two, two nights of full moon. Oh. I'll take it. It was amazing. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Yeah. We both love night sailing. Yeah. It's yeah. just, it's so peaceful and quiet. Hopefully some of the pictures turned out. Yeah, I yeah. think so. I'm hoping. Yeah. I'm hoping. So if so, you'll get to see them. Uh, yeah. Check out our Montenegrin flag. It got a little shredded. Yeah. <laughs> it was very windy there. Yes, it was. But. Well loved and well used. Yes. Yes. Thanks, Montenegro. Thank you, Montenegro. <laughs> we uh, met some really beautiful people there, made yeah, some great did. friends. Right. So, yeah. So, next steps are to check in, check in to Greece. Yep. And uh, that'll be on the next episode. So thank you much, so much, so, so much for joining us on this fun venture. Yeah. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you guys. See ya.